Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Nina Vetter, City Manager. Um, tonight, I am presenting the first uh, written City Manager's report um, that is attached to the agenda. Uh, so welcome some feedback as we start this new written report. Um, as you'll see, our report is two pages uh, for this evening. Our first page, we are highlighting our Gresham Great, as always, um, this month, thanks to James, uh, who helped out a community member um, in the midst of an issue. So thank you to James, um, our very thoughtful building inspector. Uh, also on our first page, we want to highlight data trends and things that we're seeing that we think are of interest to council and also to our community. Uh, so you'll see we have three specific um, <clears throat> trends that we're highlighting this evening. We do anticipate a fourth one that you'll see in the next month um, that's related to uh, the fire department. Um, so you just see a little blank space there for this month, but there will be more coming. Um, we wanted to specifically highlight a few things. Um, one is a decrease in stolen catalytic converters year over year, uh, and also an increase in code compliance requests. Um, and yes, you are seeing that correct, 534 <laughs> requests uh, in the month of October uh, that come forth um, to our code enforcement team. So just a really big volume um, that our team responds to, um, which is an increase over 2021. Scrolling to our second page, um, we would like to highlight three areas of what we call major projects and initiatives. The first are key city projects and initiatives um, that are items that impact the community, such as construction projects um, or things that we know are of interest to council in the community, such as um, police hiring. Our second category is kind of key city operations highlights. So what's been happening that's impacting our staff over the last month. And then the last category is regional updates. So what's happening um, with regional committees or some of our regional entities um, that's important for you to know. So I won't read off all of these this evening, but I did think it was important to highlight a few items. The first is since November of 2021, I think slightly after we hired um, our police chief. We have hired 14 sworn police officers um, and seven professional support staff, uh, which is a big lift and a big thank you to our police team for the hard work over the last year to make that happen. We received a number of applicants for the community safety specialist positions and are now entering into the interviewing process. So thank you to council for your support of those additional positions through the use of ARPA dollars. We also have been really focusing on community engagement. Um, our community engagement team launched, launched um, our community-based organization, Coffee and Conversations, um, to better understand the needs of the community and what barriers might exist that we're not aware of. Um, and we also are aiming to provide quick, immediate, and thoughtful response after a neighborhood or an area has experienced um, a significant incident. So most recently, in the Rockwood Village area, uh, there was an incident and we will be conducting a listening session in response to a community um, request for that. Additionally, we are excited. We are moving forward with our Graydon Sports Park project, um, which is a very large project for our community. Uh, we just awarded the design and construction management. I will highlight in city operations that in November, as we start in our winter season, our ops team is extremely busy. Um, the November 4th storm uh, required an immediate response from a number of operation folks to respond to downed trees. Um, we had some streets that were blocked off. And then of course, with the recent winds, as Mayor uh, noted, we still continue to have a lot of down limbs and trees that our operations team has been really quick to respond to. So big thank you to them. Also, I was mentioned earlier today in the work session, our city government has been terrific at applying for and receiving grants. Uh, we're always looking at an ongoing basis on how we can apply for more grants so that we can get more done with the limited dollars that we have. Um, and we're able to receive a mobile fueling tank that will help improve our emergency response capabilities. So thank you to our team for working on that. I also wanted to know um, one important regional update um, Metro Council has recently awarded um, a number of nature and neighborhood grants, and one of those grants, um, not going to the city, but going to a local organization, um, is Play, Grow, Learn, received $30,000 to incorporate nature education. 
um, into their workforce development program, which does include uh, East County. So that will be a program that's offered in our area. And last but not least, at the end here, we wanted to highlight the opportunity if anybody in the community wants to get involved in the city, learn more about we do, what we do or what's coming next, we wanted to make sure that we had Champion Gresham and the website listed here as well. So that is the now written city manager's report for November. Um, again, look forward to hearing from council what other information or data you might be interested in hearing about. Um, also, this is intended for the community as well. So uh, welcome community feedback on what we're not covering in here or what might be helpful moving forward. This is the first go at it. Um, and the intent is to do this on a monthly basis. Uh, but I do have um, something else this evening for my city manager's report, and that is actually a video uh, that was recently completed by our communications team um, that highlights the work of our homeless services team. And I thought it was important um, to end with that video tonight. So, Chloe, take it away. Uh, it, it was a struggle. It really was. But, it, you know, he just always told us, keep your head up. You know, it's coming. Just, just don't give up. Just, yep. you know, and, and uh, always he always kept us kept Pick us going. Up, yeah. Keep going. Come on, yeah. you can do it. You and then there would be times where we were struggling. You know, we were out of gas again, or out of this or that, and we just didn't know what to do. And just wanted to just give up. And Willie would be like, "Okay, I, I got you guys. You know, I'm helping somebody else, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come see you." Good job, my there. Rocks. What do you think about answering that phone? <laughs> <laughs> Hey Beth, how are you? I'm in the middle of trying to get this furniture for another client, but as soon as I can sit down for two seconds, I will text it to you, okay? I won't forget you, Beth. You know that. How can I forget? How can I forget Beth? Means no worries for the rest of your day. It's a problem free. So philosophy, cool at a time. I like to switch the shade to uh, permanent housing and give you that wraparound support where I see you every day, I call you every day. All my clients, they're going to start calling me in a few minutes. I just be on the phone with them all day and, um, you know, giving them support and just doing extra things, man. Um, I really love this uh, job. I've housed in the last, I think it's 24 days, I've housed 17 adults and seven children. I've uh, run across one of the nicest men that uh, I've ever met. It was Willie Shaw. He's helped me tremendously with getting a place to live, being as generous and helpful as I've ever had anyone be in my life. I mean, every, every, every time you house somebody, it's always a good feeling because, you know, <clears throat> You live in, you, you get the excitement through them, you know? Um, and that is so rewarding, just having somebody excited about being able to just be somewhere safe, you know? And out of the elements and being able to like restore their life. And um, there's, nothing, there's nothing more um, humbling and rewarding at the same time. You know, and a lot of the people that I work with, they have a lot of a story like me and I sympathize with it, you know, with people. I mean, you don't have, you know, some days I, like, I have like, a whole bunch of stuff on my phone, I get cussed out every day, but that's just usually the how it starts. That's not how it ends, though. You know, that's just usually how it starts, not how it ends. Hey, hey how you doing, sir? Congratulations. Thank you, I'm proud of you, man. And this one we met you on the trail. And this one you were over here on the White Trail. And you yeah, was working. And he was working. He showed me the pace. I said, oh my God. So I said, you know what? This guy really wants to, you know, make a, a change. Yeah, I have to. He made the steps in. And I said, and I, like I tell every client that I work with, if you make one step, I'll make 10. You make, just make one step and I'll make 10. Did I make 10 steps? Oh, he made 10. He got me here. It's awesome. And in my own kitchen. Yep. Thank you. Hey, look it up. I can't wait to cook. <laughs> Get some furniture. Some furniture. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. I'm really happy about it, bro. I'm so happy. I never thought this. I never. I thought I was on down the streets. 
I, I thought I was going down the streets. I wasn't going to let that happen. Don't give up. You know, that's all. Just don't give up. You know, there's always something better. And there's always people like Willie that's going to help you. This is awesome. She helps me out a lot. Hello? And that's my report for this evening.